Welcome everyone, here is how you get files escaped on your iOS 15 iPhone or iPad. So real quick, open up the settings app, you want to find general, and then you want to find about. So just make sure your software version is iOS 15.0 up until iOS 15.1.1, the newer softwares do not support files are escaped. If you don't know what files are escaped is, keep on watching. If you do know, just skip to the timestamp in the description. Files escaped allows you to play around with your device okay uh, for example I play this game called Grid Auto Sport however the graphic settings are restricted even though I have the literal fastest gaming device in the world so I use Files Escaped to change the app data so I have the highest graphic settings available you can also use this to get Ultra HD 90 FPS and PUBG you can also use this to customize your iPhone and iPad without a jailbreak and the changes will also apply after the reboot. So if that sounds interesting, okay, it's not a full jailbreak, but uh, it is actually kind of useful, then keep on watching. Otherwise, well, well. Also, I will delete this video after iOS 16 is released. So do make sure you watch this video before it's too late. Uh, main reason why again is because the jailbreak videos, all this hacky stuff I'm not gonna be doing anymore on the channel to get started you will need access to either a windows or mac computer this is 2022 so uh, i will show you how to use uh, auto store uh, right now for windows users only head over to the first link in the description you will see here the windows 64-bit itunes download even if you have itunes just click on the direct download link right here wait for the download to finish and then set up the exe file do the same for icloud even if you have it downloaded just download it anyway again and then wait for it to finish and then set up both exe files once you have set up itunes and icloud in your windows computer you must restart the pc if you don't restart the computer there's going to be error codes uh, don't cry to me in the comments next we need to download alt server so you'll see here the mac os download and the windows download just click for your operating system not the requirements windows 10 or later or mac os 14.4 or later okay then once you have the download finished you should see here altinstaller.zip this is for windows so if you have a windows double click on the .zip and you just want to extract the files okay once the files are extracted you will see here altinstaller.msi and setup.exe just double click in the setup.exe and use that for alt server to install in your windows computer now if you have a mac you will see altserver.zip double click into this one and then all you do is you drag and drop alt server into the applications folder nice and easy so from here on windows or mac you just want to search up for alt server you should see it right here as long as you did the earlier steps and it should open up you just click on open right here so on mac it shows up at the top right hand side on windows it will show at the bottom right hand side do keep in mind that in the windows you may need to click on an arrow key at the bottom right hand side to see the alt server icon now we need to open up finder on the mac or itunes in the windows computer we're going to find our device right here on itunes it will show up where my cursor is near the top and if you don't see your device you will need to begin plug it in you may also need to go to the home screen and tap on the trust pop-up so from here we're going to scroll all the way down and we see here show this iphone one on wi-fi we're going to click into this toggle to turn this one on and we'll click on apply right here on windows this may say allow this iphone to sync over wi-fi it doesn't matter just click on the tick and click on apply for mac os users only we need to click on install mail plugin install mail plugin and you will be asked to enter in your passcode right here then you want to open up the mail app i recommend you right click quit then reopen then you're going to click into the mail at the top left preferences you'll find manage plugins click on alt plugin not mail bundle allow access and then apply and restart the mail app now we can install alt store so click on the alt server icon find install alt store you should see your device right here if you don't see your device just restart the computer click into your device and now you need to enter in your apple id and password if you don't trust alt store for whatever reason do keep in mind their code is open source meaning you can look at the code how alt server and alt store works uh, if you still don't trust them you can always create a burner apple id 
I created this burn Apple ID here, and it's also an Apple ID which I monitor, so if on iMessage, there you go. So we'll click on install here, and you just want to wait for Alt Server to install the Alt Store app into your iPhone, iPad, or whatever device you have. We now see here, installation succeeded. If you got any error, just restart your computer, try everything again, also restart your iPhone as well. Once Alt Store has installed, when you try and open it, you'll get this untrusted developer message. So all you do is you open up the settings app. From here, you're gonna find general. You're then gonna find VPN and device management, developer app, trust, trust again, and now the Alt Store app should open. If the Alt Store app says that you need to enable developer mode, then I'm just gonna say, why enough are you watching this video? Because <laughs> that's iOS 16. It asks for notifications, you don't need to allow that, but you should allow. Alt Store would like to find the connector devices on your local network. That allows you to use Alt Server without being plugged in all the time. So let's open up settings. We're going to tap on sign in with Apple ID. So because I watched the Alt, Alt Store setup part correctly, this is fully working. If you didn't watch the part correctly, or you set up Alt Store and you, and you did it incorrectly, then I recommend you just go back, watch the Alt Store part again, watch the part where I open up iTunes or Finder, and see what I did, because uh, clearly you didn't watch that part. It's okay, it's okay, but just go back. Now we just need to enter in the Apple ID and password we used to install the Alt Store app. You will see how it works. Just tap on got it, and now we are signed in. You see the email and type. So if we go to My Apps, all the applications require a refresh every seven days. If you don't tap on refresh all once every five days, I'd say, the applications will stop working. If that's the case, just reinstall Alt Store onto your device, then tap on refresh all, and then you'll have all of your apps back. Open up a browser, and we're gonna head over to the Files Escaped website. It's very important if you're watching on YouTube, you tap on the Safari icon, or you open up in the browser. Don't use the embedded YouTube browser for this. And also YouTube, this is the official website, so don't be mad. So you see the files escape 15, just tap on this one. So this supports my iPad, uh, it doesn't support all iPads. I think it supports all iPhones, I could be wrong. Uh, if it doesn't support your device, oh, that's a, that's a you problem, just <laughs> get good. So we're just gonna wait for the download to finish here. It's not that large, it's only 14.6 megabytes. And once the download has finished, uh, which is going to be any moment now. You're just going to tap on the search icon here. Now once you do that, you're going to see the exact IPA. Long press on the IPA, tap on share, and then tap on Alt Store. Now the files escaped is going to install. If you get an error code here, just plug your device into the computer, try again, and then the issue will be solved. And then once you have files escaped, just rewind to the alt store install part where I show you how to <laughs> avoid that one. So alt store is essentially remotely connecting to my computer to download files that escaped. It shouldn't be much longer. So I'm just going to cut. All right, there we go. Files escaped has been side loaded. So let's find it on the home screen. Boom, let's open it up. Okay, so how this works is just tap on root and you want to wait 10 seconds. So the folder you want to play with is slash and then var. This is the only folder which works, okay? Well, this has virtually everything, right? You're gonna notice the folder is empty. So what that means is the vulnerability files it uses hasn't ran. Now, if you get this here, that means the vulnerability failed. So restart and then just try again. If things work, you're actually gonna see all of the files which are usually hidden. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to cut when I can see the files. After the restart, it says files escaped is no longer available. So I'm probably gonna to have to repeat the side load process, okay? So we'll just find the files escaped, try again. I'm not gonna make this video look perfect, all right? I have never had that happen before, but if that happens, just find the IPA again, side load again, and let's reopen up the app one. Okay, let's try this again. So we're gonna open up files escaped tap on root and we'll go to var and after 10 seconds the vulnerability runs hopefully when I just refresh okay you just slide down and you should see the folders if everything is good and there we go so we now have full 
access to the iPhone or iPad file system. Okay, this, this is beautiful. So when we are here, what on earth can we do other than stay at the folders? So a couple of directories I like to have fun with is in var, you're gonna find, and we'll filter by name so that everything's in alphabetical order. So the main one is var, mobile, containers, data, application. So this is where all of your app data is stored. What I personally did is because I play a game called Grid Autosport, okay? Uh, they, there are some crazy graphics in this game, but the problem is they just restrict the graphics. They don't allow you to set the maximum graphics, okay? So in this folder, this is the app data folder. So you can find where Grid is, okay? You'll need to use some uh, common sense to find like the actual app itself. So let's say there's Grid Autosport somewhere. I think it's .com .feral, so I just go past it. So you go into the folder, right? And then you can play with the app data. So I'm unable to find the folder right now. So what I'm gonna do is I'll just use a random app. So I'll use, let's say, blah, 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 this one here. And so you have a library, preferences, and you see the name of the app.plist. When you open this up, this is usually where all the app data is located. If it's not located here, it's usually in documents and then there'll be files so you can play around with. That's the main place to mess around. Okay, for the app data. Now let's go back to slash var. So we have here containers, bundle, application. So here is where the regular apps are located, right? So you tap into one, tap into the dot app. You have all the app icons. You can change these app icons if you would like to, to whatever you would like. You'd have to make it the exact size, so 60, 60 times 60. I did this back in the day with uh, uh, this this rabbit. If you know what I'm saying, this is rabbit. It was not the rabbit I owned, but the rabbit I cracked open, if you know what I'm saying. So this is useful because you have the info.plist folder in here. This is the main one. So if I open it up, you'll be able to see that we can change the display name, okay? Call Duty, you can change the display name. You can also change the app version. Uh, if I try and find that somewhere, there'll be somewhere which says version, right? Uh, which you can play around with. You can mess around with a minimum OS version. You can do a bunch of stuff, right? On top of that, if you create a new folder and you call it payload, edit and then copy the dot app paste it in this folder and then compress the folder using the create zip tool you've now created an ipa of the app in question okay the zipping up may take some time it will be payload.zip you rename to ipa with the rename tool and now that ipa will work unfortunately files that escaped from memory does not allow you to install ipa files However, you could install it via AltStore if you would like to. There's a lot more as well. You can customize the carrier, you can change the carrier text, you can change the carrier font. You, you, I'm just gonna have some articles in the description from iDevice Central. There's a lot of stuff you can do without a jailbreak. As compressed, if I rename the zip, okay, to the IPA, we now have an IPA file which you could sideload. Just like that, you can see all the information. That is everything to it. I was also gonna show you how to like change all the restrictions. You know what supervised.me does? Uh, if you have files escaped, you can also do it too. Uh, but the problem is, is it, for some reason that isn't working, but I will just show it off in the video for the sake of it. So you just search up, uh, my, my files is crashing now because the vulnerability failed. Search up configuration profiles, right? I'll just type here, search that one up, okay? that exact text, open up that folder and mess around with those plist files, you'll have a lot of fun. Okay, thanks for watching. See you guys later, bye bye.